So first off, I'm going to be talking about chemical reactions. The first one is single replaced. And as you can see, I have iron there, hydrosoft sulfate, and then iron, and then another sulfate, and then two hydrogens. So to balance this out, I need one one of the iron sulfates. Then, as you can see over here, I need two irons in order to balance that equation. And then I have a sulfate right there and a sulfate over there. And so I need I need three in order to balance it. Then moving on to double replacement. So here if you look to it, see I have potassium nitrate and hydrogen nitrate and these are the same, they're both nitrates and as you can see here they're the same over there so as you can see here you need two hydrogens in order to balance this equation and then you need two sulfates in, or potassiums in order to balance the equation. Then moving on here to here, I have sodium which is one element or that has one electron and then I have chlorine which has negative one. So since opposites attract, they're going to attract to each other and cling to each other and you only need one of each and that's just your atom. Next to decomp decomposition, first this can get a little tricky. You, first you have to figure out that O3 and aluminum and 2 they're atoms. So you actually just need two aluminums and two oxygens. Don't get this mixed up with the subscript because it can get pretty tricky if you do that. So you need two aluminums and three oxygens.